Hey guys, Perry here. So today, I would like to talk about the recent news that Sony Pictures will be making their own Venom movie. Now if you aren't aware, in recent years, Sony Spider-Man movies haven't been doing that well. So recently, Sony has joined forces with Marvel Studios to co-produce their future Spider-Man movies, with the latest, Spider-Man Homecoming, being a co-produced feature for both Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures. Now this is fantastic news for us because Everyone knows that Spider-Man belongs in the Marvel Universe because he is Marvel's mascot, just like Mickey Mouse is Disney's mascot, or Bugs Bunny is Warner Brothers' mascot. And we all know that Marvel Studios is a very successful company. They cracked the mold on making successful blockbuster films. So Sony Pictures turning to them is a very smart idea, and it's going to be a great asset for Spider-Man movies going forward. Because if anything, Marvel Studios knows how to make great Marvel movies. It's their specialty. Now we all knew that a Venom movie was coming because of all the talks and the conversations back doors between Sony's pictures, but none of us really took it seriously because there was nothing really green lit. It was just talks up until now. Now with that recent news that Venom is having his own solo movie, there are a lot of concerns among fans. The biggest concern among fans is the fact that this solo Venom movie will not be connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe at all. Now this is deeply concerning because if anyone knows the comic books, Venom is intricately connected to Spider-Man. You cannot have Venom without introducing Spider-Man, so this is very concerning among a lot of people. Now how is Venom connected to Spider-Man? Well, let's look at his history, shall we? Now the Venom symbiote first originated in 1984 during the Marvel event Secret Wars. In that story, a cosmic entity called the Beyonder teleports a group of Marvel's heroes like Captain America, Spider-Man, and Wolverine, and a group of Marvel's villains like Doctor Doom, Ultron, and Kang the Conqueror to a planet called Battleworld to fight each other. During the event, Spider-Man damages his original suit and looks for a replacement, finding the symbiote which bonds to him, creating his now iconic Black Spider-Man suit. After Secret Wars, Spider-Man was using the suit until he found out the symbiote's sinister mentality and got rid of it, where it eventually bonded to Eddie Brock, who was Peter Parker's rival at the Daily Bugle. Eddie Brock is in fact the first person to call himself Venom. At the time the symbiote bonded with him, his career was in shambles due to accusing the wrong person as a serial killer. Turns out Spidey caught the real killer. This tarnished his reputation and he had a deep hatred for Spider-Man. So when the symbiote bonded with him, it showed him the memories of Peter Parker and he discovered the true identity of Spider-Man. Together they have been terrorizing Spider-Man ever since his introduction. So as you can see, Venom's history is deeply connected to Spider-Man, which actually raises another concern. Venom is sort of an evil doppelganger of Spider-Man. He has all his powers and then some, and he also has the ability to dampen Spider-Man's spidey sense. So that way Spider-Man can never know that he's coming for him, which is extremely dangerous for Spider-Man. So if this movie is not connected to Spider-Man, then how are they going to explain Venom's Spider-Man-like powers? It doesn't make any sense. Now this movie is set to be released on October 5th, 2018, and there has been no director announced as of yet. But since this movie is over a year away, they will be making a lot of announcements very soon. Now personally, I don't want to judge a movie before I see it, but these issues are deeply concerning, which I believe that a lot of people are concerned about. If you ask any fan of Spider-Man or Venom, they are actually pretty concerned. Some are optimistic, they are hoping that it will be a good movie, but most of them are concerned or worried that this might be another disaster for Sony. Ideally, my version of a Venom's origin will be closely related to his origins in the comics. Now if you aren't aware, Spider-Man will be appearing in Avengers Infinity War, and judging by the name, Avengers Infinity War will be set in space, or at least a large portion of it will be set in space. So let's say perhaps Spider-Man is out fighting Thanos in space, and he damages his suit. So he needs to find a replacement. So just like the comics, he comes upon the Black Symbiote which, makes, which gives him the Black Symbiote suit. By doing this process, this can set the stage for introducing Venom more organically into the Spider-Man universe. So there you have it guys. This is my views on the recent news. I'm concerned but optimistic. I really want a good Venom movie. Venom is one of the greatest Spider-Man villains of all time. So. Seeing him on film is always a treat for every true Spider-Man fan, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. But I must express my own concerns about this because I am a big fan, so I want him, I want to see Venom done right. And I want to see him interacting with Spider-Man, and eventually I want to see Carnage as well. But that's a long road away. Now if Sony and Marvel Studios can be patient and set things up right for Venom, this can be a treat for all people. 
and I think everybody will enjoy the fact that they have done Venom justice in the Marvel Universe. So I'll be ending my video here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and please leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. See you later, guys.